Okay, so for this question then, we've got three statements here, which we've got to say, are, are they always true, sometimes true, or never true? And for this first one, when a real value of x is substituted into x squared minus 6x plus 10, the result is positive. Well, the way we can do this is by taking that quadratic expression, x squared minus 6x plus 10, and completing the square. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with completing the square. If not, check out my video tutorials on this. So we start with a bracket that's squared and we put x at the front here and we halve the coefficient of x. So we halve the minus 6 which is minus 3 and if you were to square this bracket out you would get x squared, the first term here, would get two lots of minus 3x which would be minus 6x but you'll end up with minus 3 squared which is 9 and we've got to bring it up to 10 so we just need to add one in. How does this help to show that it's always positive? Well, we can see that we've got that term x minus 3, it's squared, so it's always going to be greater than or equal to 0, a positive value. And then if we add the 1, I should say, to the x minus 3 all squared, then clearly we've got a positive being added to already a positive value and now it's going to be greater than zero. So therefore we can conclude it's always going to be positive, always true. Okay. Now in this next statement, if ax is greater than b then x is greater than b over a. Well, it all depends really on the value of a. If it's a positive value then when you do divide by a to both sides, x would be greater than b over a. But you've got to remember, though, that if a is a negative value, less than zero, whenever you divide by a negative value, the inequality sign reverses. So x would be less than b over a. So is this statement always true? Well, no, it's only sometimes true. OK. And for the last statement, the difference between consecutive square numbers is odd. Well, to answer this one, I'm just going to say if n is a positive integer, first of all. Just let n be a positive integer. And that would mean that the next consecutive integer would be n plus 1. So if I look at the difference between these two values, let's start with n plus 1, square it, and minus n squared, the difference of the two squares of those numbers, then if I look at expanding the bracket here, we're going to get n squared plus 2n plus 1. And then we subtract the n squared. And if I simplify this, we end up with 2n plus 1. And what we can see now is that 2n is even. Okay, If you double any integer value, positive integer value, you're going to get an even value. And because we're adding 1 to that, 2n plus 1 must now be odd. Okay, So... What have we got? Well, it's clearly always true for that statement. There we go. Okay, so hope you're able to uh, see your way through that.